Hey guys, it's Jen Meyer here and I have another uh, little shopping trip to Michael's that I thought I'd share with you. They apparently have some more clearance this, that just popped up. Um, today is what, February 5th? Um, I went shopping yesterday uh, to two Michael's and um, one was just by happenstance. I had to run in to grab um, something and then saw these things and of course came home, watched some YouTube videos, saw what you were all finding and went out to get some things. So you've seen these before. I did get some more paper pads that my Michaels just kind of had mixed in with the regular paper pads. These are the value ones from their last season and they are clearance and they're clearanced out at 90% off. So they're $1.99. Um, this one I did get on that last video um, that I had of these Michaels. I'm going to flip through just super quick in case you didn't see that video. Um, so I do now have two of these pads, uh, but so versatile. You can use it for a lot of different things. They're all single-sided, not double-sided, but there's some foil, you know, lots of flowers and pastels. I love that butterfly paper. Um, so one of these, and as I said, I did just check my stash. I do already have one, so I'll probably share this one with my mom who will love, love these colors. Um, so there's this one. And then I was away at a retreat last weekend and I ended up buying a couple single sheets of fall paper. They're not like this. They're like another one that I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, so I don't know why I have fall on the brain. Uh, so I did get, I did get this. There were several of these there. I did not get them all. This is, again, you know, it's not my favorite quality paper. Uh, the embossing on this is fairly subtle. It's not very deep, but for $1.99, I figured, you know, I kind of loved there's um, these birch trees. I kind of liked those. So I did pick this up for $1.99. And if it's hard to see, it's just kind of an embossed. It's kind of almost a glossy sheen to the paper, which again, not my favorite. Um, so when I bought this when it was, I, I've passed this several times, I've even at $1.99. I think it's just because I bought some fall paper that I love that um, was at a small scrapbook store this last weekend that I got this to kind of maybe supplement it. But again, I don't particularly care for the shine on it. And I don't think the embossing is very deep. But for $1.99, grab that. This is the one that I thought most reminded me of this paper that I bought um, single sheets up at this um, scrapbook store that I went to. I'll probably share that in another video, but suffice it to say, you know, when you're paying more than a buck a sheet for paper, you just buy a few. I mean, I did, okay, I did buy one pad or something else, but the whole fall stuff, I just bought a couple of single sheets. So when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of those. So um, I grabbed this. A lot more earth tones. I do like the little gold that seems to really pop on these colors. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not as nice as that other, those single sheets that I got. But it'll do the trick, especially some of these small scale prints for maybe some Thanksgiving cards or um, journaling. Um, I do like these. It'd be nice to find a circle punch that fits those. Um, so that's this one here. And I did get two of them. I'm going to give one to my mom um, because, again, it's pretty pretty, I thought. Anyway, it's called Hearth and Harvest. So two of those. And then some more of the calendars. You guys saw those in my last video. Um, they are undated. They have many, many months in them um, with lots of stickers and things like that. So um, I figured, you know, I can maybe make this an annual gift thing and I did get my close to my heart calendar kit in of course significantly more expensive um and I'll probably be very busy doing calendars for the foreseeable future all right so that's that's not everything that I got so this was um again kind of a happy accident um I got a whole bunch of bulk card stat or bulk card making um which you know me I I really like the paper quality of Close to My Heart and some other, you know, stamp companies that are really, really put out a good product. I don't care for, you know, that I've been working with the other stuff. I don't necessarily care for the Michael stuff. But these packets, um, Recollections, and you can see this one's actually damaged. There was a little slice in there. Um, but this blush pink, it's 25 cards and 25 envelopes. It was a dollar. So I grabbed that. And then all of these were $3 each. Um, again, they're all, I think, recollections. 
And I was looking to see if it had the actual name of the color on here. Um, and I didn't see it. But there's like a French vanilla, um, an off-white, and then like a bright white. So I did get two of the French vanilla and two of the white white. Just one of these. These were all $3 each. It's 30 cards and 30 envelopes. Um, and I just, I'm such a sucker for scallops. So I, I just got that. And then I did get them in the larger size, the five by seven. Oh, I'm gonna see. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, and I did get it in the three colors in the five by seven. So for three dollars each, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then as I said, that one blush pink one was a dollar. All right, so let me get this out of the way because there's still a lot more to go. Okay. This I had been looking at during the Christmas clearance, hoping that it would be Christmas clearance, and it never came up Christmas clearance. It's Mama Elephant. And again, I don't make a lot of Christmas things, but oh, gosh, look at these reindeers. Aren't they just the cutest? So this was normally $16.99, and I know that very well because I've scanned it at least twice in the stores, and it um, was on clearance for five. And as I said, everything was marked. Everything had like a yellow sticker on the shelf, you know, on the shelf tag. Um... And there were some other Christmas ones too, but again, I don't need a lot more Christmas things, but I definitely needed these reindeer. So they were super cute. Okay, so moving on. Some oddsy endsy things. Um, I tried to organize some stuff, but a lot of this I just left. Okay, so these stencils. I am starting to get it into the texture paste and things like that. Close to My Heart did a really great workshop for us a couple of months ago, and I have all of the plain um, texture paste things that you can color yourself, and I do have a lot of their new Stickles Gel and things like that, as well as some Martha Stewart um, stuff that I bought at Clearance on Michaels probably about a year or so ago. So these sets were there, um, and they come with some stamps, but they come with four stencils each, and I love the wood grain, and I think I only have an embossing folder with wood grain, and I love the little hexagon hive thing. So I just was in love with this one, and then I got this one too. But um, yeah, five stencils, I'm sorry, four stencils, and a sheet of stamps, and these were $3 each. For a second, I thought they were five, but no, they were $3 each. Um, and then this one has more like geometric borders, uh, like some borders. And then some more geometric designs. Um, and this damask one, which somebody said in another video, reminded them of the Haunted Mansion wallpaper um, at Disney. So I actually, you know, that's a good idea. You can maybe try to add some of this to some purple paper, uh, like in black, and, and make your own to kind of match your Haunted Mansion pages. So I got those. Um, I, again, I've only kind of done that technique in the workshop. I haven't, um, I've done it on a few cards. Um, and then this was one more set of cards. I think I got some more in another bag. And again, these were a dollar. Now they're just flat cards with envelopes. So I was thinking about maybe actually just using the cards for some labeling around my craft room and then just stashing the envelopes. So we'll see. But I think I did get some more in another bag here that we're going to open. Um, this was something that I was a little curious about. It's called a craft mat. It was five, $5 from... 20. Um, I didn't open it, so let's open it now. I struggled a little bit with this because I kind of do have a craft mat. Um, oh, it's got grids. So that's kind of helpful. Um, let me show you what I have been using. I know there's a silicone mat, um, and you can get it from close to my heart. I haven't yet because I was using this, like when I do alcohol inks and splatters and stuff like that, and this this is a oven liner or a grill liner that I got, I think, I, well, my mom got it for me, and I'm pretty sure it was free after rebate at Menards, but it's just this flexible, you know, silicone-y thing. Um, it's very thin. I've seen them sold at Aldi as well, but again, I've, I've had this for years. I have taken it out. I've actually used it. Um, so this, you know, when I already had this, I was like, do I really need this? Um for five dollars but I kind of love the grid on it so so we'll see I think it'll probably be a keep um I did see this at the first Michaels and I did see it at the second Michaels they had a few of them um it's by Imagine and it was originally I think $19.99 so there's that all right what's next 
Okay, so then we sort of get to like one, two, three. So these I got, um, these were just from that dollar front section. They've been a dollar, they were a dollar, but my Michaels has sold out of them. And I think I, I have three in my stash and I bought three more just because I thought they'd be super cute for like table markers or if we were to ever get back to in-person crafting or you do like a workshop, you could use them for like a display thing. So I did get those running out of spaces to put stuff here all right um some more of those flat envelopes two of those they were dollar okay this was waterproof panels which for working with alcohol ink is sorry let me get this stuff out so i can keep talking to you for working with alcohol um inks it's very helpful to have something that's non-porous so again kind of out of my expertise, but I'm trying to expand and get better at um, trying new techniques. Um, I've got a ton of distress, ox distress oxides. I've been working with those since um, we've been in COVID. So these were uh, waterproof panels by Brie Reese, and I wanna say they were $3 for this set here. Again, I'm not an expert in these. I will see if I use them. Um, this was just hanging out on its shelf. I'm pretty sure I might already have a white. I know I have pink and like a sagey green from this Brilliance ink. It kind of puts a pearlescence finish on those. This was $2 along with all these stays on. These were all $2 too. And I have, I know I have brown. I have definitely have a couple of blacks. And I think I do have maybe some sort of purpley color. Um, but I've always had in my thought and I have the materials to make some coasters. So Having the stays on ink that will stay on top of a glossy a hard surface like ceramic or porcelain um, is definitely something to add to my stash, especially when they were only $2 each. So I did get those. Alrighty. Um, this was something I saw on another channel. I'm sorry, I don't remember which one. And they had two different sets of colors in this. This is Patina Effect Paste. Um, Again, something I'm not an expert in, but I thought I would give it a try. Um, and these were, oh gosh, I'm pretty sure they were $5. There was another set of colors there in like a harvesty gold and brown. They were not metallic. Like these seem to have a little metallic sheen to them. So I did not get those other colors. I really, I couldn't see myself using them. And again, since it's something that I'm not very well versed in, I just kind of stuck with what I thought I would like to use. So those were those. And then um, watercolor pencils. I am a big fan of watercoloring with uh, pencils. And I do have a set um, that I bought from Close to My Heart. It's not manufactured by Close to My Heart. I think it's Milan. And I love them. Um, and I have an old Stampin' Up! set that I've pretty much used up. So I thought this was a good investment to get these. Um, and I want to say they were three they were three or five dollars from 20 something they were like 23 47 or something like that um and it has 24 colors so i thought this was definitely something i know i use them so to have more to my stash was good uh again this is something that my friend buys all the time when we go to expos she's so excited uh gelatos i don't have a lot of expertise in them but this was a whole set um Again, I'm sorry, I can't, it was three or five, and I thought this was a great uh, way to try, kind of try that. So I got these, and then, oh, a set of these Sizzix scallops. Um, I probably have similar scallops, although the thick scallops I believe I have in my stash are more definitive. These are a little bit more of a subtle, and this was $5, so I thought that was from 25 so I thought that was a great addition to the craft stash. Okay, one final okay one final bag sorry I'm just going to show you this and then I'm just going to pull out a few and then I'm going to tell you why I bought this um so they have a ton of their paints on clearance and these were anywhere between I think normally 249 to some of these pearl or the glittery ones were 319 supposedly regular price and they were all a dollar each so um it was just funny timing because, as I said, I just went up to a craft retreat. Here, I'll just pull out a couple of these. I got glitter, a few glitter, which I, honest to God, I only got because I thought this this label was so pretty. The other glitter labels are not, like, shiny like that, but, woo, 
get me with the sparkle. So I got a couple of glitter. I got some pearl and then I got a lot of just the plain paint. I'm going to show you why. So as I said, I just went to a craft retreat and I was intent on painting some wood. And I, of course, being a mom of three children, went to my crafty paint stash because, you know, we have paint parties all the time. And I went to go and grab a tube of white and a tube of black, which I have way more paint than this. This is one of them. I have another one that has more of the tubes. Um, and lo and behold, no black and no white. Well, I do, but this is like seriously empty. 90% of these empty and my poor little box. <laughs> so I decided, so anyways, I went to my craft retreat and I had to stop at Dollar Tree on my way up there and I got a tube of white and a tube of black because I wanted to paint something, which I'm going to show you. And let me tell you, the quality of that paint was awful. It was terrible. It didn't do anything to my project. Um, so I thought I was due for some paint. So that's why I got all that Martha Stewart craft paint. All right, so this is what I was working on. I wanted to paint the wood. Let me get this out of the way. I wanted to paint this wood white. I didn't need it to be brilliant white, but I really would have liked it to have covered the wood a little bit better than it did in this picture or in this thing. So this is a wood, balsa wood thing. You can see the edge there. This is three coats of white paint, people. I had no more patience, so I just glued the picture on there and I'm like, I just have to be done. Um, and then I did another one in a different color scheme, which was only marginally better. Oh, I don't have it in here in the craft room. I th and it was charcoal. Um, I mixed the black and white together. And it did better, obviously, because it was black paint. But the quality of that dollar store paint was just awful. So I decided that I was definitely due for some new paint. So we will be... First of all, chucking that bin that has a big giant crack down the side of it and replacing it with a whole bunch of Martha Stewart paint, which I'm assuming will be hopefully a little bit better quality. But, you know, also we've been home for so long, we've used a lot of our craft supplies. So I thought it was time to get something new. So I am pretty sure that's everything that I have. Um, so I don't know. It was pretty, you know, pretty fun to find some new things that... Um, I can play with and don't feel like I've spent a ton of money on them to commit to. And so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. You guys, we just hit 100 subscribers. Never in a million years did I ever think that that would happen. I really thought it would be my mom and two of my friends that I craft with that would uh, ever be watching this channel. So I am so excited to share some of the things that I find not only from close to my heart, which this, by the way, is still on our website. You can get this. This is $24.95. Um, and there's different words. You can get grateful, uh, create, home. Oh, and I think there's one more word. And um, I just think when you add a photo to it, it comes with four four pieces of big circular paper. Um, and there's flowers. There's also this, all of these came with it. You just punch them out fold them and glue them. And there's a whole bunch of flowers that I haven't even gotten to putting on this yet. Um, but adding the photo is what did it, guys. I love adding a big photo. And if you do this, I'll probably do a walkthrough about this specifically. You need an 11 by 18 photo from Costco or this measurement here is 16. So you need to be able to trim off an edge on each side. But um, this is, I'm so excited. I've already made one of these and given it um, to my mother. This one is for my house and I'm doing one for my sister. That's the charcoal color. So anyways, I'm thrilled. I hope you guys have some fun crafting. I hope you have some fun shopping at Michael's if that's what you choose to go out and do. Um, otherwise, I hope you're trying some new fun things and I will see you guys later. Bye.